what's going on champions welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be talking about the 17 states that are issuing inflation checks to their residents yes you heard that right 17 states are sending inflation checks to their residents so these checks are going to be ranging anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars depending on your income and your tax filing status so you want to pay close attention because we're going to be unpacking who qualifies and the states that are participating in this program and this program is you know is going to be dependent on um, the state you live in so this is not for all 52 states like I said each state has their own program so you want to stay tapped in and locked into the very end of this video to avoid missing out on this important information but before we dive in if this is your first time stopping by this channel welcome Consider subscribing now to join this amazing community to stay informed on the latest helpful tips for your financial wellness and success. This right into it. So as you can see right here, right, 17 states could be sending inflation relief checks. And we're going to talk about who qualifies. So the very first state here is the state of California. So the state of California, um, sometime between October 22, next month, in January 23, millions of Californians will receive a tax rebate paid out in cash. And this is going to go as a direct deposit to your bank account if you qualify, or you will be getting a debit card up to $1050, so up to $1,050. So most Californians will also you know, qualify for, most, for, the, for this money, but the income eligibility is $250,000 for individuals and then for married couples or head of households it's around five hundred thousand dollars for those who are filing jointly then the next state here is Colorado Colorado by the end of this month September most residents of Colorado will receive a one-time tax rebate that will be paid out as a mail check according to this report and this check is right around seven hundred and fifty dollars for individual filers and if you are married filing jointly you should be expecting uh, $1,500 so if you want to know the eligibility for the California uh, inflation checks you want to check out the franchise tax board website that's where you're going to see more details but this is based off of the income now for Colorado um, the eligibility is you have to be 18 years or older on December 31st of 2021 and you must have lived in Colorado for the entire 2021 and filed a state return on your 2021 uh, income. So if you want more details, again, you can find this on the Colorado Cashback website. And also, I'm going to leave the link to this article in the description section below. So those of you who don't want to watch the whole thing can go out there and read the whole article for yourself. And I'm just breaking this down so you can listen to it and you don't have to do the reading on pages and pages. Next up here is Delaware. So Delaware um, is basically mailing a one-time $300 relief rebate. And these checks are going to residents who filed the 2020 or 2021 tax return. And you have to be 18 years or older to receive this. And 18 years or older by December 31st of 2021. And joint filers will receive double the amount, which is $600. Um, and this should go to around 600,000, no, a few people, a few hundred thousand people, according to this report. Next up here is Florida. If you are from Florida or if you live in Florida, the governor of Florida is, has announced that he's sending out a one-time $450 stimulus check to low-income earners. So those who are already participating in the state's temporary assistance or needy family program. So if this applies to you, you are going to be seeing a $450 one-time stimulus payment. Next up here is the state of Georgia. If you live in Georgia, the governor has announced that there will be a one-time tax refund for residents uh, with a tax liability in the uh, tax year 2020. And this is provided the people, the residents, filed a 2020 and 2021 tax return. So single filers will qualify for $250, up to $250. And then heads of households will qualify for $375. And then married couples filing jointly will qualify for $500. Now the state of Hawaii, Hawaii is also doing something, right? If you are a single filer and you earn less than $100,000 or you are a couple and you earn less than $200,000, the state 
state of Hawaii will be sending you, it's not a whole lot, but you will receive, as a family of four, you will be getting $1,200. And then taxpayers who earn $100,000 $100, or more, or couples who earn over $200,000 will receive $100 each. So this could go to us groceries or gas. And also this applies to um, how many dependents you have and if you have dependents. So the funds should have already been sent out to your account if you live in Hawaii. Next stop here is Idaho. So Idaho signed a bill, the governor of Idaho, of Idaho signed a bill into law. And this basically benefits people who file the 2020 and 2021 taxes. And if you live in the state of Idaho and you file taxes for both years, you should be eligible for $300 if you are an individual filer. And if you are married filing jointly, that's a $600 check. So that's what you have to get, but you have to file taxes for both of those years. Now, this is an addition to a tax rebate from earlier this year, which paid out uh, pays out $75 per taxpayer and each dependent. So next up here, we're going to be talking about the Illinois, the state of Illinois, right? The state of Illinois is sending out uh, payments to people who basically earn less than $200,000 in 2021. So if you earn less than $200,000 in 2021, you will be getting $50 for single filers and $100 for married couples filing jointly. And you, for married couples filing jointly, you have to earn less than $400,000 in 2021. Not a whole lot, but that could go to a something. But there is an additional $300 in rebate if you are a homeowner with a gross income that does not exceed $500,000. So again, go figure, that could pay a lot bill or pay some taxes. Uh, next up here is Indiana. The state of Indiana is sending payments of $125,000 and $250 for couples. So this is regardless of income. And all you have to do is you have to have filed your tax uh, returns for the previous years, uh, 2020 and 2021, I believe, in order for you to get this. Uh, next up here is the state of Maine. So in Maine, you have to have filed your 2021 tax returns by October 31st of 2020 in order for you to qualify for $850 check. So this is mailed to your home address um, that the IRS has. And the eligibility here is for those who make less than $100,000 and are single uh, or $200,000 as a couple. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about all of these numbers we're throwing out there. Uh, next up here is Massachusetts. The state of Massachusetts is sending out some money to their residents, but this will be sent to full year residents, not part-time residents, right? Who filed a 2021 tax return. Now, the amount here is not disclosed, but the state will be sending that out and more information should be on the state's website. So you can calculate what the estimate of the rebate will be for you if you live in Massachusetts. Next up is New Jersey. So for all my friends who are out there in New Jersey, the state of New Jersey is sending out up to $500 for each child under the age of six. So if you have dependents who are under the age of six, kids under the age of six, you, you are eligible for $500, um, but you have to have filed your 2020 tax return. And also, um, if you have property taxes, there's a rebate for property taxes and rent. So homeowners who are making less than $150,000 will receive a $1,500 rebate on their property taxes. While those who are earning between 150 k and 250 k will receive about $1,000 in rebate. Um, then those who are renting, if you're a renter, you are not left out. You're going to receive $450 check payment um, if you make less than $150,000. So that's for New Jersey. Now, next up here is New Mexico. If you live in New Mexico and you file the 2021 tax return, you are going to get a rebate of $500. This should have already been sent to you in July. So if you haven't gotten yours, you got to hit up the state. And you have to earn less than $150,000 if you are a joint filer or a head of household. And if you are single, you have to earn less than $75,000 to get your $500 rebate. Uh, next up here is the state of New York. For all my people who live in the Big Apple, this is for you. So if you live in the Big Apple, if you live in New York City, you're going to get about, on average, $1050. So $1,050. 
And for those who live in the city of New York, this is about $425. But you can still check out um, the New York Star program, right? This is a this is a program um, that basically you need to qualify for uh, the 2022 Start Relief program. This those who live in New York know this program. If you don't know, you should go and ask your Department of Taxation and Finance or check out the website for some more information. But you should qualify based off of you filing your 2020 tax return. You should be eligible for the rebate. And you have to make an annual income of less than 250 k um, So next stop here is Pennsylvania. If you live in the state of Pennsylvania, this is for you. So the state of Pennsylvania as of September is sending checks to low income homeowners who are enrolled in the Pennsylvania property tax rent rebate um, in the property tax rent rebate program. And basically you're going to be getting around um, it's not fully disclosed here, but for those who are between uh, who who are 65 years old or older and widowers who are 50 and older or people with disability and those who are those who have disability and they are 18 and older will receive the payment and the payment could be up to $650 right this these these numbers can be confirmed on the state of Pennsylvania the government of Pennsylvania website if you do have some more questions but there's some money there for you to claim and you can check this article out for more details now if you live in South Carolina um, according to this report um, South Carolina is offering up to $700 in rebates for residents who file a 2021 tax return. So this is huge. If you file a 2021 tax return, you should be getting some money. And the actual maximum amount will be calculated based by the state departments uh, based off of you know your income and your financial situation, right? But this is all done by the State Department of Revenue, and this should be sometime next month for you to really find out how much exactly you are getting. And the funds will be sent out by December 31st of 2022, according to this report. This money could be through a direct deposit, or this could be sent directly to you by paper check. Uh, next stop here is Virginia, right? Last but not the least, Virginia. So the state of Virginia announced that it will be helping families um, who are on the lower cost, um, who are basically low income households, right? So the governor of Virginia, uh, Governor Glenn Youngkin, uh, recently announced that residents of Virginia with a tax liability in 2021 are eligible to receive a one time rebate of $250 uh, if you are single, if you filed single. Um, and then if you file as married jointly, filing jointly, you're going to get double the amount, which is $500. So if you live in the state of Virginia, you got to check out the Virginia Department of Taxation's, Taxation's website for more details. But right now, the plan here is that you must have filed 2021 tax returns to qualify. And the checks or direct deposits are going to get to you by October 31st of 2022. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. We've gone through all 17 states. And like I said, I am, I am going to leave the link to this article, this report from CNBC in the comment section below. This was a detailed report, but if you did not hear your state on the list here, still check in with your state. Some states are still offering assistance programs that you can tap in. Um, you know, so basically, let me know your thoughts about this video. And if you felt like you gained some insights from this, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with other people to help them get this information. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.